Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Simply Christelle. So today's video is going to be a Walgreens haul video. I went to, um, well I didn't go to, but I did do some online shopping at Walgreens.com because they had a promo going on. Like I bought this stuff like a month ago, you guys. I just never got to film it for it. But I, um, they had like a promotion going on where you get 20% off your purchase so I decided to get um a lot of like stuff that I've been wanting and also they were having bogle deals so they really have like they had like buy one get one um lipsticks they had like two dollars off foundation they had some palettes that were on sale so they had a lot of like things for really like cheaper than normal so I just decided to take advantage of it and I, it's just very small haul it's not a lot of things but I just decided to share it with you guys if you are interested so that's what this video is going to be so if you want to see what I got in the haul just keep watching the first thing that I did pick up is this foundation right here this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation I have heard such amazing things about this foundation for a long time and i never got around to picking up the foundation so i finally decided to um pick up the fresh wear foundation and i did get mine in the shade 515 i don't know if this is the right shade for me or not so i'm just gonna try it out and see if i like it and i've just heard like such amazing things like youtubers rave about this foundation so i can't wait to try this foundation out and yeah so that's the foundation that I picked up. I also picked up, this is not going to be in any order or anything, so um, I also picked up two eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild. I absolutely love these things, these little um, eyeshadows. These are the Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes. So I have two of them. I believe I have like I have one that's um kind of like more bold colors and I have one that's more of natural colors. So I decided to pick these two up. So this one is wait, do I have this one already? Guys, I think I already have this one. Not a basic peach. I already have this one. Why did I buy it again? I guess I I whatever so I have not a basic peach which I already have so I'm gonna just give this away to somebody since I already have that one let me just make sure hold on one second okay so it turns out I do not have this one I have comfort zone see I got mixed up because I was like the blue in not a basic peach looks kind of similar to the blue in comfort zone but yeah I don't have I don't have this one so I will be keeping this so I really um this is when you know you might have a problem when you can't even remember what you have and what you don't have but anyways um so this one i really love the peachy shades in it and i love how it has like a lot of oranges which is like up my alley i love 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 orange eyeshadow it's like my favorite transition shade i love to do orange looks like what i'm wearing right now <laughs> but um so i did pick this up because it has like those peachy shades and i really want to do like a peachy look and i know we're like in a fall so I definitely will not be doing that right now but in the springtime I think this is like a beautiful palette for spring and I also got VI purple and these are like all purples and pinks and this is just so pretty and I love to wear pink and purple on my eyes as well so I really would love to do like a look with this one and I think I love how it has like two deep deep purple um two deep purple shades here so I could you can definitely like smoke it out and do like a smoky look so maybe I'll do like a purple smoky eye or something something very fall appropriate then I picked up this which is like such a waste I okay here's the story I've been looking for a toner for a very long time so I thought that you know this was a toner this is La Roche Post Hey and I thought it was a toner that I could use after I wash my face and when I got it I sprayed on my face and it has a very nice mist like look at this mist like super super nice and your face does feel like refreshed but then I was looking at the ingredients and um it's just water so I was like um what is the toning property in this product if it's just water so I just feel like I kind of wasted it was I think like eight seven eight nine dollars something like that but um I just feel like I wasted eight dollars on this product because it's like why did I buy this if it's just water like it's not a toner it's water it was advertised as a toner but it's literally just water 
in the can and it sprays out it feels nice like it feels like super refreshing like i think like maybe if i'm hot or something and i'm outside i can just you know spray my face to cool me down but this is not skincare just water yeah so i will not buy this again other thing that i did pick up is i just picked up a um refill refill or a what is this uh like a refill? Yeah. I picked up a refill of my Wet n Wild concealer, the Photo Focus concealer. I love this concealer a lot. And it was so cheap. I think I got it for like $2 because it was on sale. And I love this concealer a lot. The Photo Focus concealer. It's one of my favorite concealers at the drugstore. It has such an amazing coverage. And it really, really does cover your under eye. It's like full coverage. But it's like not cakey. It doesn't crease. It's, it's an amazing, amazing concealer. And super, super affordable. If you have not tried this photo focus concealer go and try it and the two last non-lip items i got because the rest of the stuff in the box are lip items i got eyeliners so i got these two eyeliners from nyx um they are the retractable eyeliners and i got one in the shade golden olive and then the other one i got in the shade gypsy blue so i took these two because i really want to do like a emerald green eye look or like an olive green eye look since we're like in the fall time like a bronzy ooh bronzy olive eye look there you go so i really want to do like a bronzy olive eye look for fall and stuff so i decided to buy like some eyeliner colored eyeliners because i don't have a lot of colored eyeliners um i have like two or three but i really want to start getting into more colored eyeliners so i can do more you know looks and stuff so i picked these up because i really really have been wanting like olive green eyeliner for a long time and i've been wanting like a blue like this for a long time as well so let me know if you guys want to see any looks with these eyeliners or any fall looks you want to see just let me know or anything that you want to see let me know in the comment section down below so the rest of the things i got are all lip products i kind of went a little not crazy i only got five lip items like this is a very 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 small haul it's not a lot of stuff it's not like a massive haul i think i spent like 60 dollars so it's a very small haul which is a lot of money like it's a lot of money like i i haven't bought makeup in a long time like this was like i said was sort of like two months ago like a month ago or something like that so i have not bought makeup in a while but i did pick up these um lipsticks from maybelline they are just like the maybelline um color sensational lipstick and so i got it in the shade touch of spice and i got the shade burgundy blush touch of spice i used to wear a lot um when i was like back in the day like when i was in college and stuff I used to wear Touch of Spice all the time and I just remember loving the shade so much. Like it's such a pretty, um, on me it comes off like a orangey type of pink a little bit. Um, so for on my skin tone it comes off a little bit like pinky orangey. But I've seen it on other skin tones, like lighter skin tones and it does come off like, it comes off a little bit more burgundy on other lighter skin tones. But yeah, I got Touch of Spice and then I got Burgundy Blush. And the reason why I got the Burgundy Blush, oh my gosh, you guys, it's such a pretty shade. It's like a very vampy type of red. The reason why I got it is because, you know, I don't have a lot of vampy colors, especially since we are in fall now, which I'm so excited. I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. I decided to get more like fall lipsticks and i don't think it's a thing anymore on youtube where people do like fall makeup looks or fall you know but i am so old school with youtube so i just i still stick to it but yeah so i got those two lipsticks oh yeah and these lipsticks from what i remember back then is that they're so comfortable on the lips and they're not like they're not an uncomfortable formula i just remember them being like super 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 good and very comfortable speaking of maybelline i did get um, the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. I have heard mixed reviews about these. So some people say that these are super comfortable and some people say that these are so drying and like your lips feel like, like, um, like sand or like desert. Like do not know. I haven't tried it. But I really, really love the shades that I got. So the first shade that I got is Escapist. And this is like a purpley like burgundy shade it's such a beautiful shade especially for fall this is like a super dark 
super purple shade. Um, so I really plum shade. There you go, plum. It's a really, really dark plum purple shade, and I really love colors like this to wear in the fall and the winter. And then the other color that I got is 160 Mover, and this is like a really pretty, um, it's like a cool toned pinky red, I would say. Like, no, pinky brown. I would say it's more of a cool tone of pinky brown mover and it's so pretty and I feel like it's such a beautiful like shade like everyday shade so I'm really excited to try these out these two lipsticks and I'll let you guys know like how they feel if they're like worth it or not because the um the reason why I got it is because I've been wanting to try these for a long time and they were also buy one get one free on walkings.com so I was really um interested in this but yeah so these are the two lipsticks that I did get well four lipsticks that I got and then the last thing that I picked up is the wet and wild gel lip liner in the shade plum together I love these lip liners from wet and wild like they are so amazing these lip liners they're so comfortable and super 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 easy to work with they are um more of a creamy consistency i would say they're not waxy i would say it's like super easy like the only thing i would say though if you wear the lip liner it does come off easy easily like um i feel like i haven't found yet like a super long lasting lip liner these are not super lasting long lasting but they are really really easy to use and i i usually typically um wear one of them the berry one i think i wear that as a lipstick it's such a beautiful shade i really wanted like a darker purple lip liner and i don't have anything like that in my collection so um i picked this one up and it comes off a little bit more like berry ish but I guess we can make this work with something. I was looking for something that's super dark, like the Maybelline lipstick, but I can just go somewhere and buy it. But yeah, so I'm excited to just try this little stuff of makeup. I'm really, really, really excited to try the L'Oreal foundation because I want to see like, is it worth all of the hype that it's been getting? Is it like as good as people are saying it is? So I'm excited to try that and I can't wait to try the lipsticks. But so guys, this is, um, yeah, this is my little haul, my little mini haul. It's not a lot of stuff. Um, it wasn't really a lot of stuff at all, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope that maybe you guys might have liked some of the stuff I picked up. But anyways, I just want to know some ideas. Like what types of videos you guys want to see? Um, I'm thinking of filming a fall lip swatch video and I was thinking of filming like like a sit down video where I like talk about like confidence and loving yourself and stuff I don't know if you guys are interested in things like that but let me know what types of videos you guys want to see down below and I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and please press the subscribe button if you have not yet and also give this video a thumbs up and I will be seeing you guys in the next one bye